<laughs> Thank you. Hey guys, me host Super Sorrel. Thank you very much for tuning in. Well, we've just got back from Comic Con. We had a great time at Hall Comic Con. It was a brilliant day. Um, we took our stall there. Mrs. Super Sorrel ran our stall, and uh, we we had a really good turnout, really good day. And uh, whilst I was there, I took it. I took it to go around and grab some new books. Um, there was I did, didn't see anything action figure wise that I wanted. Um, sadly, but I did get some really good books. So we're gonna we're gonna sit and look at those and show you what I picked up because I do love my comics. And I don't I don't talk about comics enough on this channel. But one thing you did see in the video though, which I really did enjoy, was um, there was a there was a stall there um, called Magpie Die, and basically uh, she had like a gumball machine that you put a coin in, turn it, and it would drop out a mystery. Um, Dungeons and Dragons dice, a D, D20 is it called? And I got a green one, which obviously has a nice green die inside. And then I also did the red one, and obviously got a red die. So I got a nice green and red die set. Feels very Christmassy having those two colours together like that. <laughs> but yes, red and green dies. So I had a fun day. And uh, I, had to, I had to do the little gumball machine. I thought that was fun. So I picked those up. So I've got two nice, two nice new Dragon Ball, uh, Dragon Ball, two nice new Dreams of Dragons dice. And I went to a couple of my um, usual go-to stalls and picked up some books from them. So let's run through what I picked up. So first of all, I had to get Vamps by Vertigo. Not a not a um, a comic line I'm overly familiar with to be honest, but it looked fun. Uh, this is by Elaine Lee and William Simpson. Um, I got this set here, which is set six of six. Um, all I know is it's for mature audiences only. That's as much as I know. It looks very much like a female version of like Lost Boys kind of thing. And there's that image there for the back. There's six issues in this pack, and that cost me fifteen quid, which I didn't think was that bad. And then I got this set as well, which is a set of three for six pounds. Um, again, another full set, and this is the Pumpkin Time Vamps. So like a Halloween sort of version of, of them as well. And you know me, I'm a big into I'm big into Halloween stuff, and I love vampires, especially vampire comics. So again, had to grab this as well. So yeah, Vamps. Not overly familiar with Vamps, so that that might be a new that might be a new line I get obsessed with to uh, review to review. To read. Then I picked up some older books. I got some Man Thing. Um, so I, ma I managed to get. Let me run through it. So I, there's a couple. There was one missing in the middle somewhere. So I managed to get January, February, March was missing, and then I got April and then June. So I got a bunch that was all in line, all in a row. That somebody took the March one. So. It's uh, Man Thing, and he seems to be taking on pirates. <laughs> Death in the land of the damned. If the anchor didn't kill the monster, then 
Uh, if that anchor didn't kill ye monster, then ye can die all the same. Hacked to pieces by Captain Fate. <laughs> so that just looked fun. Um, and then obviously it was... Uh, the, the next one is... Uh, was it? Where was it? Uh, Death awaits the man monster atop the tower at the end of time. <laughs> and then Death of a Legend. Two strange beings talk, uh, stalk the swamp and only one shall survive. <laughs> Death of a Legend. Again, looks a lot of fun. And then finally, Chaos on the Campus. So I, I love Man Thing. I had to grab some Man Thing books. Uh, then I found this, which was Werewolf by Night. This is number three. I need to pick up the rest. This is Taboo's book. Taboo, you know, from the Black Eyed Peas? He did a reimagining of the Werewolf by Night. And um, I'm really interested in reading that run. Uh, it was Jacob from Jacob's Toys that put me on to this line so I want to try and grab the rest of the books and read them and then finally I found a big graphic novel um, to to uh, to read which is Blade I don't actually I don't actually own any Blade um, graphic novels so this is my first Blade graphic novel and I had to pick it up especially now when I'm really collecting uh, all the monster stuff and this collects Blade, Sins of the Father, Blade 1998, 113, Blade 99. Um, so it's all the like 90s Blade stuff. Um, about uh, Blade and Silver Eye and all that stuff. So it's going to be really cool. I cannot wait to read that. <clears throat> so that was everything I picked up from Comic Con. As I say, it was, it was Hall Comic Con. It's my first time there. And I had a really good day. I had a lot of fun. If you guys want to see me talk comics more on this channel, uh, then please do let us know in the comments down below, as I do love my comics as much as I love my toys. I'd love to maybe do a weekly video um, where I talk about like this week in comics or something, where I show like I review comics from the week before, talking about my favourite issues, um, and then obviously looking at comics that are coming up. I think that could be a really cool uh, like weekly spot on the channel. But let us know your thoughts. And uh, guys, just thank you all very much for watching. I do appreciate each and every single one of you. And I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. And uh, I'm waffling, so I'm going to go. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, may the force be with you.